Hi there, it's Ina here and welcome to my art room. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and please push the bell icon so you will receive notification of all my regular uploads. Yay, it's assemblage time and as you can see I have a whole bunch of findings here from kids toys to game pieces to broken jewelry to household items, screws and nuts and you name it. And I want to decorate another one of these toy trays. Now usually when you buy them new they have toys in them but I find them empty secondhand. I also found a little wooden box with a sliding lid and I want to use it as a focal point. Now before I start I covered everything in black gesso and I will glue down the box first so I know where to place everything else. Next I want to create some texture on this background and for that I use some embossed kitchen foil. It has a gear design on it. I also will add some bumpy paper which came from a gift bag and then some strips of fly screen. Now even though all these things will get covered up with all the elements I will be gluing to it, there are always gaps and empty spaces and everything looks more complete and better if the background has some texture. And it of course adds a little bit of interest to the sides of the tree as well. So as soon as these pieces are really dry, I cover everything in gesso again. And not only because I need the color, it also binds everything together and makes sure everything stays put. Here I'm using an old stamp block, which is just the right size to stop the sliding door from coming all the way out. And it will also be a tiny little shelf. So next I will glue everything down and for that I use E6000 because it glues glass and wood and metal and plastic and everything I have. So now we get to the assemblage part and this is of course super fun and I go slow with this. I like to place my pieces to where they complement each other in size, texture and shape. Sometimes I change my mind, I reposition things. Sometimes I get up and I look for more things to fill a gap or just to complement a piece. So it's time consuming and for you not to get bored, I will have to speed up this part rather fast. So please enjoy the music and I will talk to you again in just a few minutes.
Now it's time to peel the glue off my fingers, let everything dry and I proceed to cover everything in black gesso using two different size brushes so I can get into all the little corners and empty tight spaces. It is very easy to do but takes a little while so I will do it off camera. Now while I was editing this video I was really trying to add captions uh, telling you the things I used, uh, what I glued down and so on, but I don't think I was able to really keep up. There were just too many small pieces and for some of them I don't even know the proper name. <laughs> anyway, now everything is covered in gesso and you really have to look at your projects from different angles to make sure that you didn't miss anything. By now you probably figured out that I have something special in mind for this box. I found this really cute looking metal tricycle. The front wheel moves, it has a vintage style and I want to add it inside this box. Now I don't want to permanently glue down the front wheel because I want it to remain movable. So I add a couple of pieces of wood here to give a little security to the front wheel and I will only glue down the back wheel. I'm adding some black gesso here too, but I will leave the inside of the box otherwise untouched. Now this little tricycle needs a little help to not fall backwards. So I added a tiny piece of wooden dowel with some texture paste and this of course needs to dry really well. And now to the painting part. I'm using some of my rusty medium, but because it has a rather bright orange color, I'm mixing it with some of my metallic acrylic paint in copper. And I have to say that I'm really happy with this mixture. The color is very pleasant. It still looks very much like rust, but it's not quite as bright orange. And the copper paint also gives it a bit of a shine, which I really like. So so yeah, I'm very happy with the way this combination came out and to cover all my little elements I use a dry brush, very little paint and a light touch. By adding the paint this way you highlight all the texture and it really brings out the shape of the individual pieces and yet unites them all together. So here is a closer look. I hope you can see that little bit of shine it has. I of course also added color to the edges of the tray and I will save my little mixture for later on. So next thing I want to add a little color and for that I use a teal acrylic metallic paint and basically do the same thing but I'm not covering the pieces all the way, just certain edges of it. I just want a little hint of color. I personally really like the way the black gesso looks together with metallic paints. Of course this time I'm adding very little but you can definitely add more and the color will be more visible even though the background is so dark. Of course this project altogether will be darker than if I would have worked with white gesso which of course works just as well but gives a completely different effect. So here's some detailing. I'm adding a crystal clear marble to the little hole of the GPS clip because it just called for something round and then I'm adding some beads to the little door. Here I use the glossy accent to embed them in and now these beads are not the color I really want so when everything is dry I will cover them in black gesso and move on to my tricycle which is dry by now. I add some gesso to the little wooden stick as well and then some texture paste to the other end of the stick so it can attach itself to my little box. So I only added some glue to the back wheel and the front wheel remained free to move within those two wooden sticks. Now after everything was dry it came out very sturdy and I also added a little bit of black gesso to the texture paste so you can't see the attachment at all. So the door opens and closes nicely and I add some of my rusty paint to the beads and then also some of my acrylic teal color. Here I add a little extra just to make those beads pop a little bit. After that my project was just about finished and here is a quick 
close up. Uh, but then I went on to just add one more thing into the little box here to fill up the empty background. It's a little phrase, it says inspection requested. And I thought it was rather fitting for this little tricycle. So that was it. And my project is completed. I really hope you like it. And I hope you enjoyed the time you spent with me. I really get a kick out of putting these assemblages together. I love using findings and the things other people throw away and give them new life. Now, this little tricycle was a very lucky find. It's so cute. And I think it's a perfect spot for it. So thank you so much for coming. See you soon again and bye bye for now.